underway, a battle of the Claret and Blues. West Ham has put some heavy defeats behind them, but home to a Burnley side punching above their weight. The storm seemed to be passing, but then a flurry of bad results, and David Moyes looking down instead of up. It's getting increasingly hard for West Ham to look on the bright side. West Ham United under pressure and running out of ideas. Just generally poor, poor performance, poor all round. He won't be happy with his team today. Second best on the first whistle, really. It was the worst performance since I've been at West Ham. Grim evening, really grim evening for West Ham, who are in a bad place. I think the players have to take a little bit of responsibility and show the levels that they can get to uh, and get to them as often as they can because we're going to need it between now and the end of the season. It's fair to say that Moyes has more than a few kinks to iron out at the London Stadium. The Hammers have lost their last two matches both away by unenviable 4-1 scorelines. The manager described the defeat at Swansea as an embarrassment and insists that the players, like him, must fight for their jobs. Now they have consecutive home games facing Southampton after Burnley and need the supporters on side. We've had good results at, at our stadium and we're going to have to try and make that count. We've got six games remaining at home this season and we think that those in those six games we've, we can accumulate enough points to stay in the Premier League. So tomorrow's the first of them. You know, the players know exactly what's required of them and what we need to do. So I'm more interested in the points we get than the points that Burnley have got. To climb away from the dark spectre of relegation, the Hammers' defence must improve. No side in the division has conceded more goals, and they've kept only one clean sheet in their last 11 matches. Just one reason why fans are frustrated with their team. A blow then that defenders Sam Byram and Winston Reid will be out injured for the rest of the season, though Angelo Ogbonna and James Collins could both return. We have had a lot of bad luck this season with injuries, but I strongly believe in the team that we have. When we are in a bad situation, we can turn it around. I really believe in the team, and I think we are going to do fine. All a bit brighter for opponents Burnley. Sean Dyche's men ended an 11-match winless run last time out. They came from behind to defeat Everton at Turf Moor. That victory moved the Clarets to the 40-point milestone, matching their total points tally from last season and keeping alive their hopes of European qualification. They're sitting seventh and could move to within two points of Arsenal for 24 hours at least. Quite an achievement for the Lancashire club. We just want to better ourselves from last season. You know, and I mean that sincerely. We've, we've had year-on-year -year progression, you know, and, and that's an important factor, I think. It's not easy to do either, so a lot of credit goes to my staff and the players. But of course, it's nice to finish as high as you can in a league table. We're already up to the points tally from last year. We want to go beyond that and set a new marker. You know, the next challenge is the one that's right upon us, and that's West Ham, so the focus stays clear. Dyke said his team have to build on that morale-boosting comeback win. But nonetheless, he's wary of facing a wounded West Ham. Add to that the Clarets' record against the Hammers, a side they last beat in the Premier League back in 2010. And the fact that Moyes' men haven't lost a league game at home in 2018. Perhaps the clouds will clear in East London. <laughs>